Hi guys, in this video we are going to study the types of meristematic tissues based on their function. See, for, for the types based on origin and based on position, please refer my previous videos. Now today we are going to discuss the types of meristematic tissues based on their functions. The first thing, if you imagine a root, right, or a stem, imagine the outermost layer. We have imagined now this outermost layer arises from where? From where does it come? It comes from protoderm. Means example if it is epidermis. Now before epidermal layer that is protoderm this part is present okay so this is the mother of epidermis okay so this protoderm gives rise to the outermost layers outermost layers example epidermis now let's consider procambium see now see in this diagram the outermost is this part this is the structure of dicot root okay so dicot root consists of the outermost root hair epiblema exodermis see th these outermost layers are made up of protoderm now let's let's talk about procambium Procambium is the mother of whom or it is a present it is present in the young parts which give rise to what it gives rise to what it gives rise to your vascular bundles it gives rise to vascular bundles so it is present in the young parts of the plant which gives rise to the vascular bundle so what are the vascular bundles these are see outermost was made up from protoderm the innermost that is xylem and phloem xylem and phloem these are uh, see xylem carries water phloem carries food these are vascular bundles these are what vascular bundles they arise from where do this come they come from procambium so these are some primitive tissues which gives rise to your this major and most important parts of the plant now next thing is ground meristem so whatever is remaining outermost and innermost uh, if we leave this and whatever is remaining is made up of ground meristem so ground meristem it divides and gives rise to parts like if we consider the central part that is pith so the pith is formed from ground meristem then let us consider uh, pericycle that is it surrounds xylem and phloem so pericycle then if we consider endodermis it is formed from ground meristem then cortex okay so like this all this different part apart from the vascular bundles and the outermost layers are made up from whom from the ground meristem so this all that that is protoderm procambium and ground meristem these are present where in the young parts of the plant which give rise to all these parts so these parts give rise to the see for example protoderm it forms the outermost layer that is epidermis then procambium forms the innermost that is vascular bundles like xylem and phloem then ground meristem forms pith pericycle endodermis cortex then in stem it forms hypodermis medullary rays etc right so i hope you guys have understood the three types protoderm outermost parts Procambium, innermost and the remaining ground. So, these three types are based on the function. I hope you guys have understood these three different types of meristematic tissues. Right? For more videos like this, let, next video will be about the permanent tissues, which is very much important for 11th standard, right? So, thank you for watching my video. For more videos, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.